Hello, Leo. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Star Tarot by, this is the second edition, uh, Kathy McLeland? McLeland. There you go. That's the website for that person. So if you like her stuff, go ahead and do what you got to do with it. Um, support of Oracle Cards, Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. Illustrated by Jesse Reich. There's a website, hayhouse.com, over here somewhere. It's a 2002 deck, but if you want to search it out, I am very confident Hay House still exists. I just think they've changed their website. I can't remember what it is, but if you search Hay House, I think especially Hay House Calendar or Hay House Psychic, I think you'll find it very easily. Trusting you're making the right decision. Okay. The Two of Wands, very interesting with how this is showing up. You're making a decision. It feels like a quick decision. But I feel like it, this is kind of how this should go. I'm almost wondering if you're wondering if this is how this should go. I do feel like this is going to go very well for you. But it's almost like... After I make the decision, some things don't go quite as well as I hope they did. Hope they would. Some things don't go as well as I hope they would. So then I'm second guessing myself. It, the energy gets really kind of bogged down and slow. Um. And I'm questioning, like, oh, boy, what did I do? Like, oh, is this the best idea for me? I do think it's good. I do think they're saying you did make the right decision. You might be questioning it, though. Over, I feel like I'm over and over, like, every now and then, I'm questioning if it was, like, I have to... It's hard to trust that I did what I was supposed to do or should have done or did what was right for me. Maybe you're like, maybe I didn't do what was right for me. Maybe I should have gone a different direction with this. Um... Your decision seems to be blocking something. It's calming somebody else down. It's pushing somebody else back. It's putting something at bay. It's like putting somebody on ice. Like this guy has like an ice feel to it to me. Cause it looks like it's snowing and the like a they got the three bears there with somebody sleeping. That's kind of a Goldilocks little thing going on there. Um, and there's that fish. Like It almost looks like a frozen fish to me. You're shutting something down. You're, you're, you're shutting it down. You're shutting something down. Or you're shutting somebody else down. You're like blocking them from bothering you or maybe somebody else even. But it does seem like to keep that in check... I have to keep things in a certain way. And it's kind of like I could try to change it, but that's going to create a whole nother hubbub. It's like if you see this person sleeping in this cave with these three bears here, as long as that person stays sleeping, they don't care. But if that person woke up and started making some sound, those bears might care. Um, so I feel like for now, I have to, I'm like, I have to keep whatever I chose. I feel like it's better for me to stay where I am. I've kind of like made my bed, I gotta lie in it type thing. It's not a, you didn't make a bad decision though, but I feel like you're second guessing yourself. Whatever you chose, it seems like it has a season to go through. A season could be anywhere from three months to like three years, just to be fair. Because when I'm getting season, it doesn't have to literally be like a three month season. But it doesn't seem like it's for the rest of your life. That's where I'm trying to go with it. Ten of Pentacles with the Hierophant. Like, it's kind of like I chose what I chose. And now there's certain rules I have to abide by because I chose what I chose. I could default. But that's going to be... I'm going to have some detriment that I don't really want. And that's going to take me a long time to fix. And if it's going to take me a long time anyway, I might as well just stick with what I got. It'll work out better. It does... Things aren't working out your way. Like, you are actually going to go into a, a, a realm, a realm, uh, a moment of 
peace and tranquility, but it's it does take a while to get there. I feel like there's something like you have to change how you're relating to the situation. I hate, I hate to say it. I hope it doesn't sound bad, but I think it's about how you're relating to the situation. Because I feel like once you position yourself differently, you see what you can actually move without upsetting the whole apple cart. And you're like, oh, wait a minute. And you get active in the situation in a different way. It's kind of like I have to change my positioning. And I'm like, oh, yeah, all that over there. And you start dealing with that the way you want to. I feel like we got to change our positioning. The answers are in front of you. Um, Isis inspiration with the Queen of Swords. The answers are in front of you. And it's kind of like stepping away from looking at the situation like I'm stuck. And repositioning yourself kind of like, well, since I'm here, what do I want to do with it? Like, how do I explain this better? It's kind of like, say you moved out into the country and you moved in with a relative. And they have certain house rules and this and that. And you're like, not the biggest fan about this. These some of these rules, like, you know, lights out at nine and they're, they're going to be sleeping. They have to get up in the morning. So nothing, nothing too loud after nine. Like, you know, so, you know, stuff like that. And it's kind of like, I'm seeing all these restrictions. Like I, I, I got to be careful who I have over, you know, I can't have too much stuff here. I got to keep a lot of my stuff in storage. So I don't have access to a lot of my stuff. So I'm seeing a lot of detriment here of things I don't like. But then if you reposition it and like, wait a minute, but I have a place to stay. And while they are awake, there are some certain things here. Maybe I can make go their, more their way. They have this shed out back that they, that they are not happy with. So if I clean out that shed a bit for that shed for them, maybe I could get some headway with them. Maybe they'll help me out. Maybe they'll let me bring some of my stuff in. In fact, if I clean out the shed and then I clean out the basement for them and they have a lot more room, I can ask them if I can bring some of my stuff here so I have more access to my stuff. So wait a minute, I can do that. I can see, like, I don't, I'm not guaranteed they're going to see it that way, but if I do this, I clean out their shed, I clean out their garage for them, I clean out their basement, like, because I feel like this is just going to keep going. There's so much space now, I can ask them, like, since I cleaned all that out, as long as I keep it under control for them and help them keep it under control, can I bring some of my stuff for now? That way, when I do leave later on down the road, I'll take my stuff with me, and then they'll have that open space again. I mean, I help clear up that space anyway. They wouldn't have it if it wasn't for me. While I'm temporarily here, can I also use it now that I cleared it up? That's like the, the changing of positioning. Like, wait a minute, there are possibilities here. Wait a minute, I can make this go to more to my liking. Because I feel like you're you're just at this spot where the ISIS inspiration is saying, give it a minute, let's think about it for a second. There's a way for this to go your way more. There's a way for this to be better for you. I feel like um, whatever you're adding to the situation... Leo tends to have a lot of energy. Tends to. I'm not saying it's always the case, but tends to. Um, they're seeing the benefit of having you around, and they very much love it. They're be very. I feel like they're open to, to negotiation, kind of like you do for me, I'll do for you. And I feel like this opens the door for a lot of things that can make this whole situation much better. At first, I don't see it. Is what I'm getting. I'm not thinking we have all this room for movement or possibility. But they want to work with you, and I feel like this does work well for them as well for you. Um, both you and them can make out greatly. Uh, possibilities, possibilities all over the place. It might take them a minute to see the success here, by the way. The sun is messing with me right now. <laughs> um, it might take them a minute to see the, to see the success, so don't... Don't be worried if you offer, for example, to clean out the shed or clean out the garage or clean out the cellar, attic, whatever. It's an analogy. But if you make an offer and at first they're like, mm, I don't think so, you might have to give them a moment to kind of stew with it and sit with it. What you want to do is every now and then just offer something. What you offered in the beginning, like cleaning out the shed, well, might come about later. Like say later you're offering to make dinner just for argument's sake. Hey, do you want me to make dinner tonight? I, I have some time. I'm willing to do it. I can make dinner for both of us, whatever. Um, well, actually, I know what I want. I'm going to make dinner tonight. But, you know, I was thinking about that offer for the shed. Were you really serious about that? Or are you still open to that? And you'd be like, yeah, I am. I actually think I'm more into that than I thought. 
you know what I mean? Keep offering things, and the original offer might come back later. It may take them a minute to be at peace with the offer. I just, that seems to be a thing. So, because they do like it, there's a comfort level here with this person. Like, this might comfort slash control thing. Um, Queen of Cups with the Seven of Wands. The two of these together makes me feel like, you know, they want to keep control. So, when you first offer something, your energy is very strong. So they don't want to be like, I don't want you running my house for me. I don't want you telling me what I do and don't need. So they might get a little defensive. Just walk away from it. Don't worry about it. But then when they think about it, they're like, you know what? That's not a bad thing. That shed has been sitting there for years and nobody's ever cleaned it out. I mean, it's worthless the way I'm using it. Why don't I just let, why don't I just let the Leo do what they want? And just see what happens. Why not? It might take them a minute to come to peace with it. Um, they're going to see the benefit. I don't know if this energy is the easiest for you to deal with, but I feel like it might take them a minute to see how good it's going to be. They may not exactly love the way you do things, but they will like it. So keep that in mind, too. They may not love your way of doing things, but they'll like it. You know what I mean? It's kind of like if you if you want dessert, maybe you would love some chocolate cake, but you get, like, maybe you get vanilla pudding and you're like, I like it, it's all right. I would love chocolate cake, but the vanilla pudding, it's okay. I like it. That might be like the difference. You follow me? I think that's an easy way to put it. You follow me. I'm asking you. Camera. Um, things will go more in your favor. Just give it some time. You did make a good decision. That's what they're saying. You did. Just give it some time to shape up a little bit more to your favor. Things become more in your control. Trust that it's going to go more your way. Trust that opportunity is coming your way. Trust that more control is coming your way more opportunity that you can make something with as you desire. All right. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you for watching and have a great day.